bumps the axe. Prove yourself! Yeah, it definitely is kind of crucial for your children to have items. Ooh. Bot lane, Lord Boons yeah. will end up dropping. Yeah, it definitely is kind of crucial for your children to have items. Ooh. Bot lane, Lord Boons yeah. will end up dropping. First blood, five minutes is pretty slow. We haven't seen that in a while. Well, as you say that, they're going after Matino as we speak. And Matino should be dead, and he will be. Shout Demon will pick up. We think KSY should take advantage of that. Well, they're actually getting ganked up right now. Miguel, he gets rooted a second time. That Brambles kicking in, and Miguel getting a tip as well from Lord Boons. The Die Courier actually going down. I'm not sure where that was. That's a big loss for the side of Natural 9. Actually, speaking of, Baller, he is smoke. It is into a Moonlight Shadow, and now x rag he's been caught out, or has he? Boons trying to get out of there. They're going after Farmer John. Boons is taken down. Farmer John went with a Shadow Demon core. So, you know, he has to have a good time. Well, Farmer John. Okay, throughout all that. Now, they're going to try and X-Rag again. He's been stunned into place. Can they burst him down? The right click's doing so much damage, but here comes Matino. But no, the Ravage saves the day. He couldn't actually echo throughout all that. And boy. In fact, hold that thought, because they've caught the Marana out. Farmer John, he will leap away. Yeah, he does actually end up going down. The Shadow Poison. They might have to come back and defend this. Meanwhile, in the Radiant base, what's Calvin doing? He's going for the Tier 4 towers, it seems. The buybacks do come out, but he's going to go all by himself. Farmer John copying a lot of damage. How different it will be when your Shadow Demon does have farm? He is keeping up an XP nicely, and you know that Shadow Poison does a lot of work in the early game. As we just saw, like if you can land four or five stacks, that's pretty much a kill. But again, overall, I just feel like it's really putting you at risk on defending entirely. They did not bother trying to get Calvin, who actually did not have Sunder available as well, so that could have been a kill. Miguel, meanwhile, mid lane, trying to go after Cass on that Ogre Magi, and. Well, he's out of mana. Cass actually gets taken down anyway. There was a soul rip coming. You can see the Necropos in front by quite a bit. Miguel does not get rooted into place by the Brambles. He will just make a run for it. They will get corrosive though. And again, the Shadow Demon stunned. You know, Shadow poisons up and kill again. Looks like it might be corrosive again. Yeah, with that Bedlam, it is a lot of damage and they take him out. Secondary Ravage comes out from Baller. They still can't take anyone out on the side of KSY. Matino just gets out of there. Here comes the Purge, though. And they might finally get this Earth check. In fact, no, Matino is still saved. Now, the Storm Spirit trying to save the day. He'll be fine as well. Matino actually drops inside the base. And Farmer John, he's going to drop with that Scythe device coming out from Calvin. So, top lane. Oh. Actually, Miguel. mid lane. Miguel. Still in trouble, still playing around with them. He still has a bit of mana left, but not much HP. Meanwhile, though, Calvin farming up those ancient stacks. Obviously, he doesn't want to allow that to happen. And Ooh, actually, Miguel, Miguel <laughs> stuck around a bit too long. Boone's actually tipping him as well while he's trying to TP. Now Corrosive, he's actually made his way in. He probably should get the hell out of there, though. Shadow Poison, not really enough stacks anyway, but they'll farm the Tombstone and... Calvin, he'll farm an ancient stack. They were trying to slow that down or at least try and steal it, but not really going to be there. In fact, if you reap a Scythe though, and there's the tip back from Corrosive. Nice play from x -Rag. And now Corrosive somehow still around the area, John. He's still trying to fight the Shadow Demon. Corrosive will end up dropping. Now x -Rag coming to help. Miguel is there as well. The Vortex comes in, cancels the TP, and they'll fight. Been one farming the empty lanes. Look at Miguel as well. He wants this ogre, although the brambles and terrorize was there, but the bedlam as well. Miguel still has mana. He bought lightnings all over the place, and Boons is gone. He just drops. I haven't committed that ultimate once, and corrosive. He's been caught out now in that brambles. They hold him down. Yeah, well, they don't even need to. They just burst him. It's a bit hard, it seems. There is a there is a uh, a smoke available on the ogre Magi. Who have they actually found there? It is corrosive again. Mind you, this is an Undying. He is fairly tanky. Or I should say he was until Boons came in. Although, here comes Miguel to turn it back around. And Boons, well, he's gone. 
Now the Moonlight Shadow comes in. They want to go for more. Baller. Again, holding that Ravage. They're going to go after x rack Now the TP in from Boons. He just bought back throughout all this. And it looks like they might be able to find x rack here. He's not going to get any help. He'll just drag this out as long as possible. And he will end up dropping. So a nice pick off. Now with that Moonlight Shadow, they want to jump in. And they go straight for Boons. In fact, no, they'll go for Baller. No, it will be a Boons, but he's in that Shadow Realm now. And the Terrorize comes out. Boons, where the hell is he? He's still there with the Bedlam. And now the Ravage comes out, but it's not going to be great. He does manage to get three. It looks like they've actually rooted the Shadow Demon in place. Meanwhile, the Earthshaker will end up dropping. But Baller, he's the only one left in the mid lane, and he's down. Baller is still somewhere around here and they're going to jump in between the tier 2 and tier 3 tower This could be dangerous Baller still trying to make a run for it, but he is down the brambles will catch up Baller will take that banner in, although they found the terror blade. He has BKB now the ravage comes out This doesn't look good for KSY, but here comes Miguel to try and help out in this situation They're gonna go straight for the dark will in the back lines, but they've already lost two He can't even TP either Although Cass still about to go down, the arrow will connect onto the Tidehunter. Miguel able to get out of there. Farmer John actually picks up the ogre for himself. Now Miguel gets up the hill, although here comes the Sunder. Miguel's in a lot of trouble. He goes down. Baller as well will end up dropping, though. Farmer John will lose his life. And now Corrosive show. 200 HP, 300, 200, it's, it's pretty much dead. Yeah, they missed the arrow as well, though. The Fisher is there. Now the Echo, but the disruption just in time. And Calvin's going to BKB up Metamorphosis, and here comes the team fight. Baller still holds onto the Ravage for all this. Now we'll commit it onto two. They'll get the Storm Sprint. In fact, no, not quite yet. Miguel is alive, and in fact, the Reaper Scythe, they get the Terror Blade, which is way more important. So Calvin's gone, and now Baller's in trouble. They'll take him down as well. And They're going for Baller top lane. Miguel, he's got a fresh Aegis on him. Mind you, Baller is very tanky. Here comes that Orchid as well, but immediately taken off by the Kraken Shell. Baller, he will still end up dropping regardless. Meanwhile, Matino jumps into the Tier 3 tower, gets rooted up, and he's gone. Not sure about that. You do kind of need that protection. Ooh, Baller. Ooh, Baller will get caught out just as he was TPing. They knew he was around somewhere. Reaper Scythe won't really get the kill, but they'll still fight. Maybe, you know, make use of... Well, wait. Miguel, he'll jump in straight onto Cass, and Cass is gone. Now the root is there. In fact, no, Lincoln's broken onto Cass because he's playing Storm. He'll come in now, jump straight back in. And, well, he's jumping on the Dark Willow. That regen is now gone. He jumps back out. Oh, no. Terrorize is there, but it's... Is it going to do much? Baller? He'll be there with the Ravage. Only connects onto Miguel. He has an Aegis, and now the Echo comes in. Matino, the BKB was committed by Calvin. Meanwhile, somehow, Miguel is still alive throughout all this. They're going to go after the Ogre. Matino does go down in the back lines. But it will always flood in in one or two directions only. So it's much more easier to get that... Uh, push going Oh, Echo him. goes in onto the Terror Blade. The disruption was there, but the damage was still there onto the Terror. He'll go onto the Shadow Demon now with Miguel. And, well, the Shadow Demon almost dead. In fact, he will be Miguel. Ignoring him for the moment, the Ravage comes out. hits two on the bottom of the hill. But they, they're waiting, and they don't want to engage on him. Now they will with the Root and the Terrorize. Can they take him down? Baller, no Ravage available. They do heal him up just enough, and there's the Yules on the Storm. Miguel out, and here comes the Echo. Matino turning it around for his team. Calvin trying to take Matino down. Cass is making a run for it, but he's gone as well. Farmer John dishing out so much damage. Here comes the x rack They've got the Terror Blade. Where's the Reaper Scythe? There it is, but no, the disruption. It comes in just in time. Calvin, he gets a Sunder off, but he's surrounded. He will end up dropping, and it's a two for Nobody. The BKB was there. Now the Fisher as well. Baller, he has no targets to Fisher right now. Matino jumps in with the Ags. The Ravage is there. Only onto the Earthshaker. In fact, no, he got the Marana in the back lines, and they're going to jump in onto the Dark Willow. They'll take him out. They'll go for even more with that. Jumping in onto the Ogre. They do disrupt the Ogre straight off the bat. Here comes the BKB and the meta committed. What can Calvin do? Who's he going to go for right now? Miguel still causing havoc in the back lines. Corrosive. He's jumped in, but he's gone. Now the Echo comes in, but it's not that much damage. Roshan is being taken. Calvin. Reaper Scythe is actually there, but the Shadow Demon will just walk out of there. Matino! And oh, Miguel. He comes in. Baller's in trouble. The arrow did not actually end up connecting, but Baller, the Echo Slam, the cheese was actually committed for that. The Terrorize as well. And they've taken care of this Tidehunter. The Metamorphosis was committed, but it's going to do absolutely nothing for the side of Natural 9. In fact, no, it may. X-Rag jumps in and gets taken down. 
He was still around the area for some reason. Now the Brambles, they've caught out Farmer John. The disruption was there. X-Rack, he will buy back. Miguel, still going throughout all this. Forces out the BKB from the Shadow Demon. And Calvin, he's in trouble. The Reaper Scythe, it will connect, but that's just an Aegis. Now Chemistry trying to get out of there safely. The root into, into place. Miguel will take care of him by himself. Meanwhile, Calvin, well, he's probably not going to be so lucky with his own life. Detection? We don't believe in detection here in Australia, John. Calvin. Oh, nice Sunder comes in. At the very least, he'll delay this as much as possible. Corrosive is falling very low. Calvin, he's got to juke this out like a god. The only problem is, John, he doesn't have a TP. But still, the reflection actually dealing so much damage. He'll get the final baller for the moment. Rest of natural nine, not really there. Now, baller in trouble. The arrows don't connect, but baller gets ripped apart. Farmer John with that butterfly and not connect. X rag. Gonna spot out a few heroes. Lord Burns, the Dagon Reaper Scythe. We'll get the job done. Corrosive was spotted. Farmer John is also there. The smoke is broken and now they jump in. The Ravage was not committed by Baller, but they have a Scythe of them up. The arrow actually misses everyone somehow. They're fighting over these boundary rings for the moment. Reflection comes out. Meanwhile, where the hell is the Storm Spirit? Apparently in the top. He's getting taken down right now and he's gone. Buybacks come. Tino, Calvin jumps in the Scythe of Vice straight onto that Earthshaker. The arrow will actually end up connecting on this Terror Blade. And they save Matino for the moment. There, though, there's the disruption coming in. Now here comes Miguel straight in the middle of all this. He wants to try and take out the back lines, and he will do so. Meanwhile, Reaper Scythe takes out Lord Boons. Will they go for more? In fact, they have Miguel finding the Shadow Demon. Girl thinks about it, goes for Baller. The Scythe device is there. Calvin still wants to fight. He's got that Metamorphosis now, but here comes the Fisher and the Ravage coming out finally from Baller to try and make something happen. They take out one at the very least in that Earthshaker. Now the Dagon onto Ball actually doing a lot of damage. But the problem is x rag loses his own life. Calvin, he's hidden like an absolute... Calvin... Goes with the Scythe device. Now the meta BKB as well. The Ravage coming up from Ball of the Terrorize as well. This could be the team fight Natural Knight needed. Meanwhile, Miguel, he zipped the wrong way. They're trying to take down Marana and they'll get him. x rex still trying to fight, but he's gone as well. Miguel gets nothing. In fact, no, Calvin, he's stuck around too long. He goes for the Sunder BKB play, and he turns it back around. X-Rag, he's in trouble. He should drop, and he will. Miguel, though, he'll jump back in. He jumps back out. In fact, the arrow is coming out and just whiffing everything. Boons, he'll drop. The rest of the team still there, still willing to fight.